Apple's first event in 2022 is fast approaching. Here's when I think it's gonna be and what I think Apple will announce. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you have not already, be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you get updated every time I drop a new video. Now, over the weekend, Mark Gurman was out with its predictions, which lined up with earlier rumors of when Apple would be holding its first event of 2022. You guys ready for this? Apple will likely be holding its first event on March 8th, which is a Tuesday, which is a day that Apple traditionally holds its press events. We have heard there was going to be a spring event for a long while, and so far, this is all matching up. If Apple does expect to hold a press event on March 8th, we can expect event invites to be delivered to members of the press a week prior on March 1st. So stay tuned on March 1st for Apple invites to start going out. Does not preclude them from changing in any way. This could be, you know, pushed later depending on production. But right now, I'm thinking March 8th is a pretty good looking date for Apple's first press event. So. What do I think Apple will announce at its March 8th event? There's likely gonna be three new products that Apple is going to showcase in three of Apple's own verticals. So the first, we're likely to see a new iPhone SE. Now, don't get too excited, and I'll have more information on the iPhone SE in a standalone video, but the new iPhone SE 2 will likely still keep the same form factor it has now, basically, a more recent version of an iPhone 8. It'll keep a very similar design and it'll include 5G this time. Though I am bummed that apparently it won't support MagSafe, which is by far one of my favorite features. But aside from the iPhone SE, we'll also be likely getting a revamped iPad Air. We're not gonna see many design changes on the iPad Air either, but it will include both 5G as well as the A15 Bionic processor so giving it a boost in speed, both wirelessly and processorily. It's not a word, but I'm going with it. The last product that we will likely see, I'm a bit torn on. I've heard things going both ways, but it's gonna be one of two products, I believe. It's either going to be a new iMac, a 27 inch iMac or an iMac Pro, and that new machine will have a 27 inch display as well as Apple's M1 Pro, or M1 Max processor on the inside. German says Apple is going to be releasing a new Apple Silicon based Mac, and there's only a few options left in what that could be. By going with the new iMac, Apple will be using the existing processor it has. Apple will not be releasing the M2 processor until later in 2022. So an M1 Pro or M1 Max 27 inch iMac slash iMac Pro would make sense. The other option is for it to be that newly redesigned Mac Mini, the one I also talked about in a standalone video. The new high-end Mac Mini would be adding the M1 Max and M1 Pro processors to the lineup. This high-end Mac Mini would see a bit of a redesign, and if you wanna learn more about that, go check out my standalone video. I've got one on the 27-inch iMac too, if that's more your style. But that is what I think we're gonna see at this Apple event. We're gonna see a new Mac, we're gonna see an updated iPad Air and an iPhone SE. I think Apple has a lot more in store for the second half of 2022, so be sure to stay tuned. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. What do you most want to see Apple release at its first event of the new year?